Hi, everyone. Dr. Vicki here speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center. Now, I did promise that once Kamala Harris selected her running mate, I would take a look at his uh, numbers. And she has selected um, Minnesota Governor Tim Walz. And I have to say, she did a fabulous job. I totally agreed. She picked the person that I thought she would pick. And then I thought she should pick. And it, I did not look at anybody's numbers before that. It was just a gut instinct. And um, I should have trusted Kamala to pick the right person. So let's take a look at Tim Walls. We'll look at his numerology, his Kabbalah, and we'll also uh, do a little a composite uh, look at his numbers and his chart with Kamala Harris. Now, before uh, uh, one caveat, we do not have an accurate birth time for Tim Walls. So uh, in his chart, I'm going to be using an Aries rising chart uh, for noon uh, on the day that he was born. And that means that we don't have the right houses, of course, and we don't know where his moon actually is. Um, in his in his chart. So we'll take a look at that. And, and as I open up to it, uh, I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so let's, let's get started here. Um, <laughs> let's get started here. Oh, yes, share the screen. That's what I want to do. All right. Okay, here we go. I'm actually, um, I'm calling this um, Harris Walls, the dream team. Oops, except I spelled it wrong. Oh, dear. Let's fix that. Yes. There we go. The dream team. See? In live action, right? Live action. Okay. Let me... Um, I'm just going to make this a little bit easier to see. We'll do a slideshow from um, from the beginning. All right. So uh, let's just jump right in. Now, before we get to, um, and this is not a Kamala Harris uh, vi video, but here she is, the uh, nominee for the Democratic uh, presidential race. And uh, this is her chart. We do have an accurate birth time on Kamala, which of course we would expect seeing as her mother was um, uh, from India and, and Indians uh, are very um, aware of their astrological um, information. So uh, we're help that's, that's very helpful for us. And here is her chart. We're not going to be looking at her chart per se, Simply to say here that um, she has what we would call a splash chart, meaning that she has a lot of uh, energy in a lot of different places. This makes somebody very um, less focused in one area and sort of more able to move around in, in all kinds of situations. She has in her chart a, a six-pointed star. She has a grand fire trine and a grand air trine. Now fire and air can uh, potentiate each other. She has her moon uh, in a fire sign here in Aries. She has her sun in Libra. She, that's a part of, that's an opposition that she has. Her nodes, she has a south node in Sag. South node in Sag is a soul that comes in with a lot of information and a lot of knowledge. And her challenge is how does she express that knowledge? North node in Gemini in her first house, who she is. So how does she let us know who she is? I think she's generally uh, somewhat of a private person. And I think it's, uh, and also a sensitive person. So it can be, and on some level uh, insecure, like most of us, um, but she's working through that. So we're not, and here's Kamala's uh, numbers. Uh, I will do a separate video on Kamala. I hear my husband calling, I think. Maybe he was talking to the bird. <laughs> Usually when he raises his voice, he ain't talking to me. <laughs> okay. So here we have Tim Walls. Who is this guy, right? But the minute you hear him, the minute you look at him, you like him, right? He's just got that likable kind of persona. 
Uh, Tim Walls is an Aries. He was born uh, on the um, uh, 6th of April, 1964. He's the same age, just a few months older than Kamala Harris. Uh, just another proof that women age much better than men generally. But he's, uh, he's uh, this is a guy who's what you see is what you get. Aries is very much that. Aries don't really have heirs because they're not really interested in heirs. They're just interested in doing uh, what they're doing. Now we have the now now we have the, the fire truck passing. Okay. Um he not only does he have his son in Aries, but he has Mars, the planet that rules Aries in Aries. And he also has Jupiter in Aries. And uh both this uh Jupiter is considered a benefic, a lucky um, energy of the sun, of course, who he is. And then Mars, you know, what drives him? What drives him? Now, he does have a um, a square of Mars to the nodes of the moon. He has his south node in Capricorn. Your south node is, uh, it can be connected to your feelings, your emotions from the past as a child. Generally, uh, Capricorn South Node can be quite stoic, uh, or they uh, attempt to be stoic. Um, and then with his North Node uh, in the sign of Cancer, he's really come in to feel his feelings. And he has this sort of, uh, you know, right off the get-go kind of Mars energy. Nothing really gets in the way of Mars. So I think that he's probably over his lifetime, and I, I have to say I don't know too much about him, honestly, um, that he has made his mistakes. He's run into a couple of uh, brick walls in his time and have had to learn to uh, navigate um, his uh, emotional evolution. That is what the nodes of the moon uh, indicate, the, our emotional evolution. Now, Pluto in somebody's chart is uh, the soul, and he has a Pluto, of course, in Virgo because he was born in the 60s. He also has it in conjunction to um, <clears throat> Pluto, which of course, if you were born in the 60s, you have this. It is a balsamic conjunction to Pluto. There are definitely two different uh, energies of this Pluto conjunct Uranus energy. When Uranus is behind Pluto and moving towards Pluto, and when it's in front of Pluto and leading the way, people who have it in this configuration, which he does, uh, Uranus uh um, balsamic to Pluto. Um, this is, you know, the 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 Pluto Uranus conjunction was a point of uh, a, was a whole new evolutionary cycle that we started, and that began in sixty five and sixty six. And uh, those people born just before it happened uh, are on the Pisces side of this, as opposed to the Aries side of this. So they act more uh, as far as their purpose, their place in the evolution of the culture and of humanity as the healers. And then the um, when Uranus is in front of Pluto, those folks are a little bit more the rebels. So while this is a rebellion, this has a rebellious nature to it, just in general with Uranus and Pluto in a conjunction, this combination is much more about the healing than it is about uh, the creating the new. So he really comes in as a healing energy. And as uh, many people uh, born at this time, we had, uh, well, he has Saturn in Pisces opposing this. And he also has Chiron in Pisces, something else that happened in the 60s opposing this energy. This is a group of souls who come in to heal their souls, heal their souls. And, you know, heal or heal thyself. And as we heal ourselves, we heal others. Um, the resolution note for his Mars, he has a skip step with Mars. He's figuring out how to work with this Mars and Aries energy. Um, he needs to move to the south node. And this, um, and the south node is the, the emotions, feelings of the past, also past lives. In his pre and if we if you ascribe to past lives, he's been a leader in his previous lifetimes. And what he's learning how to do is sort of come home come back home to his own soul and feel his feelings. The South Node in Capricorn can be somebody who um, um, in previous lifetimes had to suppress their feelings. Now, this guy does not strike me as anybody with suppressed feelings. 
Now you can see his moon here. We have it at uh, three degrees, 55 minutes of Aquarius. We are not sure he could have a Capricorn moon. He could have an Aquarius moon. Both the Capricorn and the Aquarius moon are moons that are connected, that are um, more concerned with the collective anyway. So either way, it's it's to our benefit. Um, let's see, anything else I wanna say about this per se? Uh, no. So let's continue. Let's take a look. Here's this chart again. As you can see, I made it a Aries rising chart we, and it's a noon chart. He was born in Nebraska. I do want to point out here that he has a grand trine as well. Now Kamala has one in air and fire, which is very, can potentiate each other, right? They can get very like, and to balance that, he actually has one <clears throat> in Earth, which makes him very grounded. And he certainly seems very grounded to us, right? So what is connected to this, this grand trine? His Mercury in Taurus, Mercury in Taurus, somebody who thinks in a very practical manner, very pragmatic, trine the South Node. So the South Node in Capricorn is somebody who's used to being in charge. So this would say he has good leadership skills, but... He's not really here. Oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. This freaking neighborhood. Okay, hold on a second. That nearly scared the bejesus out of me. Did you guys hear that? Or you think I'm just crazy? All right, I closed the window. You know, nice days in the summer. People are on their motorcycles. This is Main Street. We get a lot of motorcycle gangs. Well, clubs, then they're called gangs here clubs going down the street but that was just somebody who had a room room because you know that's what they do all right i don't know why they don't believe in mufflers but it seems like it's not a thing all right well i guess if you're on the highway you want to be hurt right okay let's let's off that off that go on that subject scan me um oh gosh what was i talking about oh the yes the grand trine so uh, so this is somebody who who who's familiar with leadership, knows how to lead, okay, and knows what to say, knows how to get the best out of people. That's very much a Capricorn thing. A real good Capricorn knows how to get the best out of the the people that are working for them by uh, utilizing their talents to 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 create a, the best situation for the group. Now, he was in the military, right? He was in the military for twenty four years, and uh, military is very much a Capricorn sort of Aries energy anyway. So it was kind of a fit for him, but it wasn't where he was going to end up. He wasn't going to end up because the North Node in Cancer says um, it's time to take care of people in a different way, right? Capricorn is, you know, safety and all that stuff, but the cancer is to feed people, right? Is to make sure that the children are taken care of, that families are taken care of. And he's done all of those things. In fact, this grand trine is actually part of a kite with his north node in Cancer, his north node in Cancer. So this is a very, when you see these in people's charts, these are people that get all kinds of things done. Plus he has the square to his nodes. Uh, this is a T-square really, and they get a lot of things done as well. So I think what I want to say is that this is really helping uh, bring some stability to Kamala's um, to Kamala's uh, situation. Um, it's not that she doesn't have, um, well, she's got a lot of, she's got a Virgo in her chart. So she does have earth in her chart, but it's mutable earth. And I think that he helps to sort of uh, shore things up. Now, when we look at his numbers, his full name, Timothy James Walls, uh, when we add his vowels together, that's his inner feminine, that's his soul, this is who he is. At a core level, we get two vibrations. We get a 22 and an 11. I want to point out that 22 and 11 are both master numbers. So we're dealing with somebody who's vibrating at a higher frequency. This is a more advanced soul. When we add his consonants up, we also get an 11. We get a 38, 11. Now, the 22 is the fool card. We have that right here. We can see that. The three, uh, the 2911, the vibration of his soul is the three of wands. This is this is one of my favorite three of wands cards from the um, Tower of the Spirit deck. It's called the Birth of Light. And I actually have a um, stained glass window that I created um, 
for my wedding that I was inspired when I first met my husband. I went on a, I went to a seminar for like 10 days. And while I was there, I had a vision of a, of a, 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 a stained glass project. Cause I was doing stained glass at the time and then ended up being what I made for the wedding. But I actually call that one, the birth of light. Anyway, that's not here nor there. Uh, that's the 2911. Now you see it's uh, Aries vibration. It is connected with Saturn. So it's responsibility. It's cre it's connected to Saturn through where it sits on the tree of life, actually. It sits in a place on the tree of life called Baina. Baina is the place of the divine feminine. Um, the fool is on the path between Kether, the crown, and Hokma, wisdom. Uh, it is the first path of the paths on the tree of life. And it's really indicative of a soul jumping into a new incarnation. Uh, but having all the tools, as you see, he's got a little bag there behind him. Those are all the tools that he brings from his other lifetimes and his other experiences. So this is somebody who's well-equipped to get the job done, let's say. His outer personality, 3811, that's actually the queen of cups. It's a Scorpio vibration. Uh, the queens are always the sustainers of the element. This is the psychic queen. This is the queen who knows stuff. I'm going to say the word without having to see it. It is another 11 vibration. When you have 11s like this in your chart, you really do work very, very well in relationship. It is your strong suit. It's like you need somebody else to bring some ballast. The 22 is a master spiritual builder. So he has come in to both aid and build in this lifetime. Now, when we add these two, the 38 and the 29 together, we get a 67.4. That's the Knight of Pentacles. Could you think of a card that would be more apt to him, the Knight of Pentacles? And this is his expression. This is how he expresses himself. This is how he finds balance between his inner and outer self. His inner self, fire, and his outer self, water, and the balance being pentacles. So this is the farmer. This is, I mean, he even looks like he's dressed. I mean, did anyone see the video of him accepting? He's sitting there with um, a camo hat and I think he had jeans on and a polo shirt at the governor's mansion. No suit, no, no nothing. And he was just so honored to be asked. It just does a hard good. I mean, honestly, I... I you couldn't write this script. I'm telling you, you couldn't write this script better than it's happening. All right. So what's his path of now? All of these numbers I described are things that uh, he he brings into this lifetime. So what are his what are his lessons in this lifetime? Well, we get that through his birthday. And when we add his birthday together, we get a 30 over three vibration, three zero slash three. And that's the four of wands, right? This is the Democrats card, right? When you see it. In the tarot, it's about uh, it's about group work. It's it, this is connected to the planet Jupiter, um, found on the tree of life in a place called Hesed. Hesed, um, and then we have his shadow and what he's come in to heal in this lifetime, and what he's come to heal is the four of cups, the forty four a vibration. There's a couple of things about this vibration as a shadow. First of all, it's located energetically in the throat chakra. It's located in the, one of the sephiroth associated with the throat, as is his path of life. It's actually in the same sephiroth. All the fours are in the same place on the tree of life. And so we have, but this is about emotional um, ennui. I think, that, I think I said that wrong and I apologize because I know one of you gave me the phonetics of it, but it doesn't guarantee that I'll remember. So I apologize if I, <laughs> I said that wrong. And we, and we just, um, as, you know, as, as, as good as it is, there's like something missing. There's something missing, right? There's a, there's a divine discontent. It's usually with people who are kind of satisfied with their situation, but isn't satisfied and perhaps isn't satisfied because he knows that not everybody has the same situation and why shouldn't everybody? That's what it feels like to me. Um, but it's also about finding your voice. When it's your shadow, it's where you're blocked. 
it's also a vibration of learning how to say no. So he's, he seems like a pretty generous guy and somebody who's always willing to 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 try and to to sort of dig in as it were. And uh, and maybe he says yes too much, takes on too much. This can be somebody, the 448, could be somebody who works themselves into, um, you know, it works too hard and forgets to rest, okay? So those are some of the, uh, and he's gonna have a lot of work ahead of him with Kamala. I think they're very well suited for each other. I can't even tell you. Um, all right, so let's um, let's continue here because what I have next is Kamala's chart and his chart. And I wanna point out astrologically where these two come together. And they actually come together with their asteroids are very close. They're born the same year. So you're gonna notice that a lot of things are very close to each other, right? The nodes are relatively close to each other, although they are in different signs. Um, we have Uranus, Pluto. Um, when I was talking about Uranus, Pluto and having, um, when uh, Uranus is behind Pluto and moving towards Pluto, it's more, this is the part of that 60s generation that's here to heal. Uh, Barack Obama had that. Although I think his Uranus was in was in Leo, I think his Uranus was still in Leo. Um, but this this is the first. This will be the first president who has this conjunction all in in Capricorn, if if she wins or when she wins, I should say. And uh, this is Tim Walls. He has the same configuration. Hers is a little tighter, and she has Venus there which indicates uh, perhaps a healing of the feminine. Uh, she also has planets square the nodes. Her Venus is square the nodes. His Mars is square the nodes. So she struggles with um, uh, Venus issues. He struggles with Mars issues to a certain extent. His resolution node was the south node going back to the past, but hers is the north node. And so she has to find the confidence so she can express herself. And I think he helps with that. I, I think she's, I think she has the confidence. Let's put it this way. She has the confidence to do that. What Tim Wall seems to me to be is like her protector or her flank. I, I know um, Susan Lynn called him her flank. He protects her flank. And I think uh, he has that energy. He, he has that energy to work uh, for the betterment of all, to take the second post, the second position, you know, and uh, and I think that their relationship is going to be much more um, of two contemporaries working in a team, whereas I feel like her relationship with Biden, although it was a good relationship. I think they were a good, they were, they made a good partnership. And I've looked at those numbers and those charts and, and, and they also help. In fact, Biden's soul is her path of life. So he sort of held the door open for her, but he didn't give her much. Um, he, he wanted her to learn on her own, really. Um, it's a different relationship. He was sort of like, I guess the father or the grandpa, uh, <laughs> who was there uh, when when she got to the end of her, her lead and then she would go see grandpa and maybe grandpa would give her some advice. That's more the energy I feel. Now, I don't know if any of that's true, but that's the energy I feel from them. But I do think that uh, he saw a lot of potential in her and he wanted her to find it in herself. So I think he helped a whole lot. Plus he had a whole lot of stuff on his on his plate. And once she got, once the Dobbs decision happened, she found her mission. And really her mission is connected to that Venus, I think, um, you know, with Uranus and Pluto. So back to their relationship. So we see that they have similarities because they're born in the same year. She does have her Saturn in Aquarius and he has his Saturn in Pisces, the next sign. Um, he was born before her. So uh, Merc, uh, I'm sorry, <clears throat> Saturn was in Pisces when he was born. And then later in the, it must have gone, it went retrograde, obviously, but retrograde. And when she was born, it was in that la those last degrees of Aquarius. This incidentally is on the United States um, moon, the Sibley moon. 
So she's going to be an authority figure and she's going to quell dissent. She's going to quell this. She understands it. She understands the need for dissent. It's not like she's not open to what they're saying, but she's not going to tolerate what they do. Just like she didn't tolerate um, what she, the uh, people who were heckling her. I think it was in Michigan. Um, but if she gave me those eyeballs, I would have just crumbled to the ground, quite honestly. They have a similar Chiron, of course, here. But this is the really nice thing. This Jupiter on her moon is so protective and so beautiful. And it's in the 11th house. This is a true, I think this is, feels to me like a true friendship, a true, and I think he has the type of energy that he's willing in this lifetime. It's not about being the leader, but it's about supporting and supporting the cause, so to speak, with that North Node in Cancer. And of course, she chose him because of all the good things he did for families in his state. Um, and I think because he's just a real guy. And I'm sure she, no, she's met uh, some people who weren't quite, quite real, quite real. Um, so this is, I think, a very wonderful combination. Now, one more thing I want to look, I want to show you their composite numerology. You can do this with yourself and anybody really and see how your composite energy. Now, composite numerology is you take the souls, you add them up, you take the quiescence, you add them up, the expression. And so it's really an energy of their energy as a as two people interacting in a relationship. So we have Kamala Soul 27.9, that's the Ace of Wands, by the way. And we have Tim Soul 29.11, the Three of Wands. So we have fire and fire. That's very interesting, right? Both fiery souls. And when we get a composite, we get a 56.11. Now, 11 is about balance. 11 is about relating. And it is the Two of Swords, which is about um balance right some people see it as um a stalemate but it really is more of a balanced energy it's actually a libra energy and libra is about justice okay so they've come together as souls to bring balance and justice to a situation this is actually connected to uranus um, the in on the tree of life, it's located in Hokma. Hokma is the sephirth of Uranus, and they both have that Uranus conjunct Pluto balsamically in their chart. They are here to heal. Um, their outer personalities, we have the 44 and the and the 38. When we add that together, we get the 10 1. It's actually an 82, 10 1 wheel of fortune. This is a change in fortune. Is there a change in fortune? Have you felt the difference? Have you felt the energetic change since these two, since she announced and 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 they started moving together through this through this experience? You better believe you've felt it, right? And those who were at top are suddenly at the bottom. And those who were, I don't know, at the bottom but not being seen are suddenly, you know, thrown into, into the light of day, so to speak. So we can see that as well. That's their energy. That's their outer expression together. So inner, inner wise, they're looking for peace and balance. Outwardly, they're looking for change. They, they create change. Their expressions, the expression in the person's chart is how they balance themselves. Kamala Harris has a 73-1 vibration. This is located on the tree of life in a place called Gabura. Gabura is the place of instant karma. Gabura is the spiritual warrior. The symbol for Gabura is the sword, and it is the sword of justice that she, she, she holds. And it's pentacles, and it's also associated with Taurus. So it's about justice for those who, do, who you know the the the. I mean, when you look at the the uh, the card for the this is the five of pentacles, you see the two people out in the cold she is a champion for that okay that's her that's her expression in her chart his chart his expression as we know is the knight of pentacles the 
the uh, the slow and steady wins the race night, the protector of what is there, the the farmer, the one who who protects the seedlings in the ground. This man was a teacher and a coach. He he spent his life fostering other people to become better people, better students, better citizens, right? Better sportsmen. Um, and so when we add those two vibrations, we get the healing vibration of temperance. Temperance, this is a Sagittarius vibration. It is the path of the mystic on the tree of life. And it is about walking through the extremes without getting caught up in the extremes. This is a very powerful, powerful card. It is associated with the sign of Sagittarius. And while Tim doesn't have a lot of Sagittarius, I don't believe in his chart, Kamala has her south node in Sagittarius. So this is helping her bring forth um, all the vital information that she has from her previous lifetimes and then their paths she has a 50 over five path whenever you see a zero next to a name it's god force so this is a uh, highly uh, this is a 10 of cups his the four of of wands water fire uh this is a spiritual initiation and their vibration together is an 880 I only use the numbers 278, and so we reduce it to the eight, which is the strength card, which incidentally is the vibration of the year 2024. So this all sort of, um, and this is, you know, about overcoming your lower nature um, and through spiritual means. So these numbers, these um, um, composite numbers, his numbers, his chart, Again, it's 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 a match made in heaven, and that's why I call it the dream team. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, you can, uh, if you enjoy this type of work, I do this for people. You don't have to be the president, the vice president. Uh, you don't have to be running for anything <laughs> unless you're running for the bus. That's okay. Um, so you can have this done for yourself as well. It's called um, on my website, which is the seeds of transformation.com. Um, it's under uh, astrology Kabbalah reading. I do a, a 90, I offer a 90 minute reading and a 60 minute reading. If it's your first reading, I like to have the extra time. It really isn't much difference in the price between them. So if you have the 90 minutes, I would suggest you take it. Um, and I look at your astrology, I look at your numerology. Um, and I look at your Kabbalah, I look at your tree of life. I did not include the Kabbalah in this video, but I will continue to do more videos on Tim and Kamala and them together. So you can keep your eyes eyeballs peeled for that. But um, yeah, it's uh, this type of reading changed my life. And I know it's uh, been helpful for a lot of folks. So if you're interested in that, there's a link below. Uh, to go on my website. And just if you are interested in doing that, I will request you to fill out a new client questionnaire as well. But you have to purchase, if you purchase the reading, it'll give you dates that are available. I have dates available. And um, then I, I need you to do that before you fill out the questionnaire. Some people fill out the questionnaire, but I don't know who they are because they haven't ordered and I don't get a, I don't get an email with the questionnaire. So if you order, I get your email and then I can reach out to you. So that's just trying to make it easier on all of us. All right, guys, have yourself a wonderful day and I will see you again soon. Actually, I have to do the astrology for the week ahead. So you'll see me soon, much sooner than later. All right. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day. And uh, it's good. It's good. It, we still have to work it. We still have to move forward. There's still stuff that we're, we're going to be moving through. But in the end, it's going to be a whole bright new day. And I think these two are going to be the people. In fact, I know these two are going to be the people that uh, show us how to get there. All right. Take care, everyone. Namaste.